Hello. Um, today I want to talk about the Netflix series Surviving Death and what it has to do with past life regression. To some of you that might seem really obvious and to others it's like uh, completely two different universes. So anyway, in the first episode of Surviving Death, there was, it was about near-death experiences. And what they showed was how certain people who had had near-death experiences had a lot of healing um, and became very changed people after their near-death experience. Um, what was interesting to me as somebody who does past life regression hypnosis is that the effects of the near-death experience mimic the effects that I see my clients having with past life regression. So it's kind of cool um, because what I realized watching the show was that most of us, thank God, don't have to deal with a near-death experience. Um, it might be awesome, um, you know, like some of us would sign up for it if we knew that we could come back from it. Um, there was that movie, I believe, Flatliners, and and um, it was about like a bunch of medical students, um, what was it, from the 80s, 90s, where they would take each other, they would knock each other out, basically kill each other, stop their hearts, and then have them do a near-death experience, and then they would come back, uh, they would bring them back to life. And um, so that was, you know, a cool movie for somebody interested in this kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, the thing is, why would there be a, a, a similarity between having a past life regression and having a near-death experience. Um, and I think it all comes down to one thing. You're, you're, you're breaking through this veil of illusion. You're breaking through this veil of physical reality. I mean, once you experience that consciousness is not dependent on the physical body that's huge um that is something that like you're in a completely different territory so that's one thing um just realizing the eternal nature of the soul of what you really are on its own is very transforming one reason is because it unplugs you from all this little crap um, in life that most people are focused on on a day-to-day -day basis and it puts you more in touch with what I would call the eternal part of you. It puts you in touch with your life purpose. It puts you in touch with your talents the reason that you're here and wh how you're supposed to fulfill that purpose. And when you get put in touch with that information on a deep level, it changes a lot of other stuff. For example, let's say you're at the wrong job. Um, you, you had this awakening, whether it was near death experience, whether it was past life regression or whether it was, ayahuasca or whether it was just you realizing something with no outside assistance that is possible too and preferred um so anyway when you realize um the bigger scale of things you might not be fighting that job the whole time the thing is maybe you're fighting creating drama at work because you feel like, I'm stuck. This is it. You know, I have to make this place better because this is where I'm going to be for a long time. And, you know, 
So my battles are here. Now let's say if you realize on some level that you're meant to do some other kind of work. But you're not in a position to quit your day job today, right? Well, that puts you in a different frame of mind where you say, eventually, I'm going to be quitting this job. But right now, I don't need to create a lot of drama on this job. I can detach from it. I can actually do a better job than what I was doing before because I'm not wasting a lot of energy on interpersonal conflicts in the office, that kind of stuff. I'm not even worried about promotions. I'm not angling for that promotion three years from now that I need to get ready for. I, I quit doing all that because this isn't my truth. This isn't my place. But yet again, I don't need to quit right away, right? So that detachment actually can lead to somebody doing a better job, actually getting a promotion. Um, that's kind of what happens to a lot of my clients. You know, they want to get out of something. I help them detach emotionally, create less drama. And then, um, then people like them more and give them incentives to stay. And I always say, well, you know, so now it's a new reality. Now you can make a new decision. You don't need to be stuck to that old one. Anyway, I digress, digress like, like usual. Um, so when you wake up to the, the reality of that consciousness exists outside of the physical body, that you survive death, it changes everything. As somebody who's done past life regression for 10 years, 11 years coming up next month, um, it kind of feels a lot of times like I'm walking around with this secret and everybody else is still asking the question, you know, it's, it's not an ego trip, but it's just like, it feels kind of ridiculous. Like the answers are out there when you hypnotize 2000 people. And they go back to past lives, almost every one of them. Some people go to future lives. Some people go to their childhood. Um, some people go to parallel lives, all kinds of stuff, right? Whatever your higher self needs you to see most. But anyway, when you do that and you realize these people didn't have a meeting before they came in to plan out how they were going to trick you, um, and you see 2,000 people giving you different versions of the same story, basically. You start to believe the story. And it starts to look kind of ridiculous that religions have grappled with this stuff for thousands of years since the beginning of, of humanity. That wars have been fought over these theological questions. And it feels like I just take somebody into hypnosis and they relive a past life. We talk to their higher self, ask all kinds of profound questions, get all kinds of amazing answers. Boom. Done. Um, it's kind of amazing. And um, But the most important thing in terms of the similarity of healing between past life regression and near death experience um, is that you are shown by your higher self that which you most need to see for your next stage of personal spiritual evolution. So when you according to this Netflix documentary, you know, when people had their near death experiences, they had realizations that helped them reorder their entire life. And I urge you to watch the documentary, especially the first um, episode. I haven't seen all of them, but, um, but check that first episode out about near death experience. And, so in hypnosis, in past life regression, and apparently in near-death experiences, 
you're shown things and given such profound lessons oftentimes, not every time, that, you know, sometimes, I mean, it can be profound, but it's not necessarily that intellectually profound. Um, if you meet loved ones, the, the are so-called dead, um, and find out they're not, um, so, you know, that's fascinating, but it's not some new construct of philosophy, you know, um, it's not some new awareness of, of anything, but just, oh, you don't really die. Cool. Um, and they're here for me. That's good to know. But the thing is, everybody has a purpose and everybody has talents that they're born with that are given or chosen or however you want to think of it in order to manifest fulfilling your life purpose. And then we have our issues. We have our stumbling blocks. We have our insecurities, our fears, our feelings of not good enough, our feeling of having to prove ourselves. Um, and sometimes the solutions that oftentimes, maybe by far most of the time, the solutions given direct you deeper into the matrix. So, for example, um, your dad is a self-made man. He's made millions of dollars. He did it on his own. Now you're a little kid born rich. And then daddy says, well, I made millions of dollars on my own. How are you going to make millions of dollars on your own? And you're like, I have no idea. <laughs> you, know, you weren't born with your dad's hunger um, that maybe came out of poverty and deprivation, right? You weren't born with any of those things. But you're expected to go out and make millions of dollars and emulate your father's path. But let's say, as happened with, with a client of mine a long time ago, let's say you are an extremely talented musician. And your path doesn't really involve going out making millions of dollars, unless you happen to get really famous and you get in a, a, a group, you know, where you make a lot of money. But otherwise, you know, that's a little bit the roll of the dice and, and maybe not your whole life purpose, right? Your life purpose is to go out and play music, to express your talents, to touch people's emotions in whatever way. But maybe it's not like your dad's life purpose, which might have been to escape poverty, make money, whatever, right? So what happens is your dad, the interaction with your dad is something that causes a great deal of insecurity in you. And you are then told in order to cure this insecurity, you need to get a job in finance, for example. And so what I'm saying is then, let's say you get a job in finance and you start making a lot of money. And now dad's patting you on the back saying, say, I knew you could do it. Good job, right? But you hate your job. You hate your life. You're not playing the music like you really know you should be. So you're actually driven deeper into the matrix. You might then get addicted to something. You might be in a horrible marriage. Your whole life then will echo the inauthentic choice you made. So what does that have to do with near-death experience and past life regression? Well, near -death ex a near-death experience, like a past life regression, takes you straight to the core of the truth. And it blows you away with the simplicity of it. And so it's one of those things that can, not guaranteed, um, but can be a real life-changing event. 
So, you know, I've had a lot of clients that have come to me for past life regression and they came because they had had a near death experience that they were curious about finding more out about. And, um, but until I watched that net Netflix show surviving death, I didn't see the parallel. So it's interesting. And again, we're probably not going to have a near-death experience. We're definitely, most of us, not going to seek it out. Um, so the closest thing to that would be a past life regression. Kind of cool that that's available, and I feel really lucky to do it. If you want to find out about doing that kind of work with me, energy healing, anything else like that, uh, check out my website, andysway.com. You can also text me at 212 505-7729. It's a New York number, but I live in LA now. Um, but you know, keeping the number anyway, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like subscribe, comment. I'd appreciate it.